Hi, this is Wahida Suleiman. I'm an application developer here at Lycor, and today I'll be talking to you about the 6800. So this is the 6800 application software running on the console. When you power it on, this will be the first thing you see. The, um, the application is laid out in a systematic way to help guide you to make a log measurement. On the first tab, we have the startup, which has um, a review of what your chambers are, any configurations you have, and then you would walk your way through the environment, the constants, the stability, log files, possibly auto programs, review your measurements, and then be able to take a log. And so that's the flow of the steps you would take. On the startup page, the first thing you see is your chamber setup. This console is connected to a fluorometer. Whenever you connect a different peripheral to the head, it should display the attached chamber you have. Um, there are various ways to configure your chamber that will be available depending on what you have attached. Below chamber setup is configuration. Configurations are um, a way to store, load, and retrieve um, specific ways you've set up your 6800. Um, on the connections page is where you see the information of the sensor head that your console is connected to. Um, often it is not necessary to do anything here. If you do need uh, to provide network information, that can be found on this screen as well. Warm-up and system tests. Um, often it's recommended to go through some warm-up tests to ensure that your system is operating correctly. Um, there are various tests for different parts of the console and the fluorometer. Calibrations. The calibration screen is where you would um, zero your ergas, set your CO2 and H2O spans, zero the flow or pressure sensors, the fluorometer. You can view the history of your calibrations, diagnostics, or restore your factory coefficients. The data dictionary is a very useful page for the user. Um, this is where you can see all of the different kinds of variables that are coming into your console. So if you see a variable you want to know a little bit more about, you can go to the group name and select the variable. You'll see its current value and more of an explanation of what that variable means. System settings. So this is where you could modify the brightness, the volume, set the time and date, select your time zone. Um, if you have any editing preferences, uh, flip the screen 180 degrees or take a system snapshot. If the clocks drift apart from each other, if there is a clock difference, this is where you can sync the clocks for more accurate logging. Standby power off. Um, this screen is simply to allow you to either power off the instrument, view any active uh, background programs, or put the instrument into a standby or saving mode. And that is what you have available on the Start Up tab. So when you're happy with that, you can move over to the environment. The environment page shows you the various uh, ways you can be controlling the uh, air in your sensor head. So here we have the flow. You can control water, CO2, fan, temperature, the light. If you have an additional light source or a console light source, this is where you would control them. 
And then here you have the fluorometer specific screens where fluorometer specific functions are available to you. And here's where you could compare any previous fluorometer files you have. If you have auxiliary sensors and the uh, ability to connect them to our um, console um, inputs, this is where you would configure those options. Auto controls allows you to um, control uh, over a specific time interval and set points whatever environment um, variable you might be interested in. If you notice along the sides of these tabs, they have uh, green LEDs. This is to let you know that whatever flow, water, CO2, or other environmental setting you have selected for the console, the console has reached that target when it's green. It's getting closer when it's yellow. constants. These constants are used in the calculations for the log files. Um, there are various constants available for logging. Um, the system constants, specific constants for gas exchange such as leaf area, leaf temperature, components of the leaf light, any user defined constants you might wish to enter into the log, and your fluorometer constants. Stability. Stability is where you can configure various environmental um, requirements for when your um, log value is considered stable. Log files. So um, there are a lot of options with log files. Um, these are just some of the things you can um, customize, as well as matching options, fluorometer options. You can, once you've decided to open a log file, this is where you would do that. So in order to open a log file, you could choose an existing log file, or you can create a new log file. Um, it can either be automatically named for you or you can manually enter it each time. So I'm going to go ahead and open this log file. And so now the tab tells me that I've got a log file open. There's a green dot here and the log button is now enabled. If I wish to add a text remark to the log file, this is where I would do it. When I want to um, move any log files I have onto a USB or copy them from a USB and the manage files page is where I would do that. With my log files already completed, I could open them, view the header, the data, and graph um, variables from my log file. Auto programs are useful for automating steps that you don't want to necessarily uh, be manually right by the console to do. So for example, um, if you select this drop-down box, these are some auto programs that are immediately available to you. Um, for example, if you want to set up automatic logging, all you would have to do is enter in what your log interval is and how long you want to log for, hit the start button and it would start logging. Now the measurements page is uh, where you can see in real time uh, whatever variables you are interested in, uh, either by graphing or in a grid. So the grids populate themselves automatically based on um, the, the uh, chamber that's attached. And so there are eight places for various things to be monitored in real time. The graph also allows you to view in real time how your environment on the console is going.
If you wish to change what is on a given graph, all you have to do is select the Edit Graph button. You can change how it's being scaled. You could select a different variable to plot and place it on the left or right axis. You can even edit the color and the line thickness if you like. If you don't want to do a real-time graph and you'd rather be plotting an X and Y graph, this is the slider you would use to switch between the two. Now the grid is also customizable by you. So all you have to do is select an existingly an existing used grid item or a blank grid item and choose from the data dictionary the variable you are interested in. Now we've moved through the startup, the environment, constant, stability, we've opened a log file and reviewed the auto programs, we've seen our measurements and if we'd like to log it this time all we have to do is simply press the log button and it will log a point to our file that we opened. We get a nice status message telling us the log is pending and now we know the log has been written and the log count has been incremented by one. If we went back to the auto log program and started that, we could see that it will be running for us and we will see that the program is making progress across the status bar down here. And now we have two log points. So that is very simply how to uh, get started using the 6800 software to log data. And that was an overview of our software. Um, we have more tutorials and resources on our website. And as always, you're free to contact us at customer support. Thank you for watching today.